Good morning everyone and welcome to Let's Shop Cake Live. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and this is my cake shopping channel and I'm going to be here I'm here most Saturday morning she says sometimes I change the times but generally we're here at 10 o'clock on Saturday mornings showing you cake products so we show you how to use them we show you what to do with them and then most of the time we've got some nice offers on as well lots of kits and things for you to be able to make things so that's what I'm here to do on Saturdays and I'm never alone today I have Kelly with me say hello Kelly hello <laughs> some of you will know Kelly she is my daughter and she's often on my comments so uh, Kelly is on comments today so if you have any questions Questions you'd like to ask about any cake products then do please let me know and Kelly will feed them back to me she'll also put up any links so if you see any products that you like whilst I'm showing you what we've got today and you would like to know where to get them from then she will put the links up as well so the address to buy your products today is www.letshopcakelive.co.uk which you can see underneath me I do like that moment yeah, it's a little bit of television here isn't it <laughs> Don't look at Kelly's laughing at me. Um, so th yes, that's for that there. Now, if you want to buy classes, then we have to go somewhere else, but we will split the um, shopping up as we go and tell you when it's classes and when it's products. So Let's Shop Cake Live is for all the products and tracymancakeschool.co.uk is for all the classes. And we normally start with classes. So that's where we're going to start um, first of all in the second. Now, if you see um, more than one item that you would like to buy and you've already placed an order, you place a second order, Order, we will refund the postage so you will only ever pay one lot of postage um, now in terms of um, liking and sharing I know there's been some changes on Facebook recently and to do with the privacy buttons on Facebook so we always or try and give away a an online 20 pound cake painting voucher what we're going to do going forward is if you place an order during cake shop for uh, let's shop for this week um, somebody will get a voucher so we're going to put it inside one of the parcels because it's becoming slightly unfair that we can't everybody can't like and share at the moment so um, if you do place an order over the weekend you might open your parcel up and you may well find a voucher in there that would be nice and you can spend that on your online cake um, painting classes so access to any of the classes you can get quite a lot of classes for £20 <laughs> so there you are now let's talk about a few things that have happened this week so uh, Monday morning we walk it into our office when we turn on the edible printer and lo and behold it stopped working now that is honestly not a moment I wish to relive very often um, so we have been delayed this week with a lot of orders with the edible printer so I do apologize um, we are almost at the point of sorting it out now we have a new printer we have another new printer coming which I haven't told Kelly about yet um, but we will be fully up and running by uh, well we're fully up and running in some capacity but more of the capacity later on but we've now sent out all the orders um, we've got Magnolia and Rose cutters, which belong to Patchwork Cutters. Uh, we're expecting those. We might get those actually this morning. We're, we may get a live delivery. Oh, I get any that. <laughs> a live delivery. Now, I know they've been sent because I talked to Marion at Patchwork Cutters quite a lot and they are on the way okay so we know that they're on their way which is excellent news uh, so if you are waiting for a magnolia and rose patchwork cutter which has been all the things I've been painting over the last two or three weeks and you've placed an order for one last week on here I did um, Beauty and the Beast cupcakes I've still got them behind me actually and we painted this rose let me just get out of here <laughs> It's so elegant. My mother will be so proud. <laughs> I've got a box on the floor to keep jumping over. Um, so we did this last week. Hold on, let me change this round a bit. Right. There we go. So we used that cutter last week and everyone went mad and thought this is a wonderful idea. So we completely ran out. But not only did we run out, the supplier ran out as well. We got absolutely wiped out so um we have got it coming in hopefully later today so it may well turn up while we're live which would be very exciting um i'll just start doing all the posts in the background kelly will start <laughs> immediately dispatching it yep <laughs> whilst live <laughs> um anyway there you go so that's um so this cutter here if you have ordered this we do know we have a list of you who are waiting so it is coming out so stand by and it's all on its way so we're, we're doing our best to try and keep up with everybody um it's it's just been a very disruptive week so it's been one of those weeks where you think uh oh here we go so yeah edible printer broken down and i i'm live often with my hands covered in food coloring courtesy of that edible printer so <laughs> i don't think it will change with any other printer because they always seem to leak and go absolutely everywhere but today actually not too bad because i haven't actually um been um 
well caught up in it yesterday so I'm all right my hands are not too bad a color today <laughs> normally rainbow colors right okay so let's talk about classes so we know that um color theory with Kelly is coming up isn't it Kelly Woo. Woo. <laughs> right it's been really popular so far I'm really really um grateful thank, thank you thank you very much thank you to everyone who has booked on color theory with Kelly when I finally stop calling it color therapy it will be even better um but it is color theory with Kelly there you go she's popped it up there now so what is this this is so Kelly's my daughter aren't you Kelly yeah. and she is um I'm going to say all these lovely things now because she's sat next to me see I'm not that I'm biased at all um, but Kelly is fantastic at colors I can't even tell you how um, amazing she is and it's also quite irritating so I want to be like that um, she can look at things and go that goes with that that goes with that it's amazing it's absolutely amazing so um, she's going to be showing you how to understand the color wheel now she's been doing lots of sheets on um, you did some sheets on your iPad this yeah. week didn't you so she's making you handouts that you're going to be able to download or look down, at down, no download and then there's one that they can fill in themselves so if they want to print it out and they want to paint in them or they want to mix sugar paste and put in the little she's areas. good isn't she so there you go so you're going to have sheets that you can download and you can um basically look out for um what was it so you're going to be able to you've got grids that people can understand the colors yeah and also so there's examples and then below the example there's like an empty one so you can fill that out however you want to because okay. basically sorry i'm off camera because i don't really discuss <laughs> just it. put her makeup on I've, I've just woken up <laughs> But, um, I said you're on camera today. She goes, I'm putting makeup on. <laughs> uh, so she's sitting over there telling everyone what's going on. But basically, um, yes, colour theory. So if you build cakes or you paint cakes or you do anything, doesn't have to be with cake, actually it can be with colour full stop. And you want to understand that colour wheel a bit better, then this is going to be a really brilliant... It's a Facebook Live. It's £7.50. It's cheap. You're going to be able to go back. You're going to be able to watch it and you're going to be able to ask Kelly questions live and also after the event. So it's... If you get a colour later on and you think, oh, what's, how do I make this colour? You'll be able to post it on the Facebook group. And if Kelly picks it up and she's not miles away and on her travel somewhere, yeah. <laughs> she'll be able to help you. So it's going to be a fully interactive course for £7.50. It's an absolute bargain. And all the money goes towards Kelly's travels. So, um, yeah. yay. Kelly on tour. We won't talk about that because then I start getting upset. Um. <laughs> very diverse like you can use it for just regular painting or you can use it for like sugar paste or yeah so the cocoa are... butter painting there's a very interesting part of it which i found when i've been painting with what's this dust yeah that some of the colors are quite like muddy yeah so it's like teaching you how to make a higher saturation of a color or how to brighten a color like with cocoa butter and stuff like that yeah so basically kelly's looked at the cake colors themselves and so not just the idea of red and blue and um yellow but looked at the colors that we have already in our hands so we've got um lots of things like you know lots of different colors like moss green and grape violets and all these sugar flare colors and then we'll actually be able to look at it and go right this is what we need to do to make it more this color and more this color so hopefully it should be um for cake decorators very geared up to help you not only understand that color wheel but get some really nice colors out of what we've got already it's so great that you can literally just open a pot and paint but most of you that have done my painting classes know that we do more than that and we blend and we mix all sorts of different colors out of the same thing so if you do want to try or have a join us on kelly's class it's monday the 10th of may starting at 6 30 in the evening finishing at eight o'clock so that any of you that like to watch sugar and crumbs in the evening at eight o'clock will be able to then nip over to that so that's when that starts um and you will be able to uh, go from there we've got people on the wrong thing i think this morning all oh, the postman's arrived we know what that means that will be the patchwork cutters i think maybe i don't know it depends how marion sent them but anyway there we go um right so yes yeah, you'll be getting your parcels probably live as well while i'm live he may or may not come in the postman we'll see what he does might not have any post for us, but right oh, he's outside the door, so that's the patch where cut is coming, and I can just hear it bleeping, so we know it's definitely coming in. There's the knock at the door. <laughs> Isn't this <Thank> exciting? <laughs> and that's a large box. Has it got patchwork cutters written on it, Kelly? She's looking. <laughs> patchwork cutters. Patchwork cutters, yes. Right, you can all go wild now and order the patchwork cutters. We've got them back. Thank goodness for that. Right, Magnolia and Leaf is in the building. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, let's talk a little bit about the patchwork cutters before we move on to everything else. So over the last um, few weeks or so, I've been doing lots on patchwork cutters. Now, what I did 
there we go let me put this up so i made this cake this week on sugar and crumbs at on tuesday evening and i used a cutter there called entwined rose now if you want to see how this cake is built you can go to the youtube channel and follow it so it's on there all absolutely everything i do on um, sugar and crumbs I put now onto my YouTube channel so if you do miss out you can go back and look at it and very specifically as well I've actually put the picture of the project up so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing and then if you want to follow it you can so the cutter that I used on this one is called Entwined Rose and it's a really really pretty cake. It doesn't actually exist anymore because the NHS have eaten it so it went off to Stoke Mandeville um, yesterday so uh, it's now gone. I've had confirmation from the nurses it doesn't exist anymore um, but it's a very simple very straightforward cake and it incorporates painting and also using blossom cutters and doing some piping as well. So it's a really really effective cake and as you can see looking at what I did because I got keep getting told off by Kelly for doing everything pink I tried to do a peachy corally type colour and I think it's come out really really well on this so the um, by the time we've done the entwined rose behind oh, it it's in there somewhere oh, yeah, got it. she's got it once you find once the entwined rose is on there um, we then built it up around it so you do your painting first and then you do your flowers and then your royal icing on top and it's not difficult um, it's not a they're not difficult cutters to use they're very straightforward and to be perfectly honest they've been around an awful long time it's just that all of a sudden um, we've started to use them in painting and that's because I've been doing lots of flower painting recently. So this is Entwined Rose and I did another thing with um, my famous cookie cutter here where I took this and placed it onto that like so and was able to get that print on there. So it's extremely versatile this one and yesterday I painted the same one on a cookie as well. Hold on, what did I do with that? It's up there somewhere. So... Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so the same. I'm gonna pop you there a second. So the same one there is all of the same on there. So that cake that I just showed you a minute ago, plus on the cookie, plus on the cupcake, is very versatile. You don't have to use all of it. So I used a proportion of it going down the cake. So I pressed it sort of like that and then like that. So you can move it up and down. So this little um, cutter here, Entwined Rose, it's not even that expensive. It's about £3.50, I think, something like that, isn't it? I've used on loads and loads of different things. So it really is one to look out for. And as I say, we've now got all of the patchwork cutters in stock again, thank goodness. So we will be, you will be able to get these today as well. The lily is also here. We've got that one. I did that one live again on sugar and crumbs. Let me just move my chair so I can go and get what I did, which is this one here. And again, I painted this up. Um, I did actually do it on cupcakes as well. And again, you're going to find all of this on my YouTube channel. So if you are missing any of this and think, well, I've not seen how she's done this, go to the YouTube channel, go and have a look because I've shown you step by step how to do this. It's so easy. It's literally sugar paste. Take hold of this and press it into your sugar paste. Pull it back out again and you're going to have a whole shape that you're then going to be able to paint and you can then customise it. So for this one, for example, I did Stargazer. This one over here, well, I started this one was like a pale, just the, the pale pink of the lily. But I also did um, on cupcakes, I did orange ones as well. So I just took a corner of one like that and just did an orange lily. So there's tons of possibility with this. So if you would like to have a go at trying to paint flowers, then patchwork cutters, um, certainly the ones we've got on Let's Shop, are the ones that you need at the moment. So there's Lily, there's Entwined Rose. This one here is called Blossom Leaf. And what's so lovely about this, it's got tiny little pieces to it. Now it comes on this grid, you're probably thinking, what has she got there? This comes on a little grid, so you kind of twist them off like that to start with and then you have them here. And they've got, I'm going to hold this one up so you can see it. So you've got little tiny leaves on there that again you can press into your sugar paste and create really lovely garlands. And the thing is with this as well, it's actually got different sizes and different directions. Let me twist this one off. Just whatever you do, I'm going to give you a top tip with patchwork cutters in a minute. So you can see you can make up your garland like that. I hope that's coming up on screen okay. So you've got 
um, different shapes and sizes there and you can create a lovely garland going all the way around maybe a cake board or something or even a plaque um, yeah my top tip for patchwork cutters whatever you do don't do what I did years ago and I regretted it the minute I did it is keep them all together in the same bag for the same set so for example this set is blossom leaf and that means I keep all the blossom leaf together and I don't then add the lily in or anything else I keep it it's exactly the same as it is because otherwise you have a nightmare on your hands because then when you come to find some of these pieces are really small and when you come to find the little tiny rose or whatever it is you're looking for look at this tiny little piece you'll never find it keep it in the bag so or get boxes and label them up so keep everything that belongs together in the same bag and then hopefully that will be the, um, that will solve that problem. I'm giving you a tip because I just tipped all mine into a box one, one day and then regretted it, so never again. Um, this one here is the Magnolia in Rose. So this one is the one that's been out of stock all week, but we've now got it. I think Paul Marion at Patchwork Cutters was... Um, <laughs> every time I rang her up and said, Marion, we need another 20, 30, she was thinking I was having a joke, I think. So that's the one we use for the Beauty and the Beast one. And again, it comes in different sizes. There's an, a little Magnolia one there as well. And you can see that one there is really quite big as well. So they are nice sized floral cutters there. And again, they work with cupcakes, um, my lovely cookie um, coffee cup that I'm always going on about, all the right size for that kind of thing. We've also got the big sunflower, if you remember this. Now, we've actually got a painting class for this as well, but you'll find that over on um, Tracy Man Cake School, not on Let's Shop, but we do have the cutter there as well. I'm sure Kelly will put a link up for you as well. So the sunflower one, this is a really lovely one, but I've also recorded a lesson so that you know how to do it, which is on the Tracy Man Cake School. Um, it's got some really nice, interesting colour blends on that, and I believe somewhere on our website there is a kit containing all the sunflower colours as well. So Kelly will put that up for you as well, just so that um, you can find that. that I don't know if I've left it on Let's Shop, it's on Tracy Man Cakes. Just to say as well that we, that the Let's Shop is on the same website as Tracy Man Cakes, but Let's Shop has got the um, stuff I'm showing you live today, which is why we always point you in that direction, because sometimes it's not on the rest of the website. But once you've done that, you can actually then move across the rest of the website um, and it will just all go into the same basket. So don't worry too much about um, any of that. Um, so yeah, those are that. And then the final one with this was one called Wild Rose, which is the other. We've got, how many patchworks we've got now? Five? Four? Something like that. All the flowery ones, haven't we? So there's four or five of them now. Um, and they're not very expensive, but they are extremely helpful for beginners. Wild Rose. So we've got Magnolia Rose, Wild Rose, Entwined Rose. There's a rose theme Blossom going on here. Blossom and Leaf and Lily. So there's five of them in total. OK, and again, same as before. Keep them in the packet. Don't let them wander around because, again, there's some tiny, tiny little pieces to this. Look, little tiny little ones. But this is the one where you can build a really nice garland with that. So this is also a really nice one. Again, they're all in stock now, which is good news for everybody because then we're no longer looking for them and worrying about your orders being late because I hate orders being late it's one of my big bugbears I like everything to go out ASAP so there you go all right so all the patchwork cutters are now back in stock so if you want to have a go at flowers and you're not too sure about what to do and you want to have a go at painting then this is a really good one to do because it's not too complicated and you can do little projects until you can build up to do something a bit um, more adventurous which leads me beautifully onto the beginner's painting course for flowers and I'm going to put this one up deliberately because somebody has painted that this week this is mine um, but my beginners floral they've only had access to the course now since is it two weeks not less than two weeks I think they've had access to the whole course and somebody's now painted this onto a cake and it looks amazing in fact they've been painting all of them except one I think at the moment they've not done yet and that's because it's the live class and I think they're waiting for that one to be live but this is um someone's done this and it looks amazing it's a really nice course i can't tell you just how um it's meant to be really straightforward it is for beginners there are no patchwork cutters or templates so it is all done freehand but i've done everything step by step for you it's all measured out and done very very carefully and it is on offer at the moment so if you do want to join it it is um, 99 pounds for five cake projects that is a lot of work and if you complete um all five there is a certificate for 
for you at the end as well so there's a little bit of a push there to get you to have a go at all of them because it's easy to buy a course and then not actually do it so there is a certificate at the end and if you don't want to pay all in one go there is an option to pay by installments now we've got it on offer until the 4th of june i think it is i think that's what i've put it down for um 7th of June, there you go. So it's on offer till the 7th of June. So what I've done is I've given you enough time while the flowers are all coming out that if you fancied suddenly painting flowers, you do have the option to get this on offer until the 7th of June. And then it's going to go back to its usual price. Or if you don't want to buy into the whole course, you can buy pieces of it. So if you love this, you can buy this as a lesson, which is chrysanthemum. She just about manages to say that. Um, <laughs> I couldn't spell it the whole time I was doing the um, course. I had to keep going on to Google to find out how to spell it. Um, but if you want to do just one of the projects, maybe just see how you get on, you can buy them individually as well because buying the whole course might not be for you. So if you want to do one or two of them, then that's that. But you can always start with something like Floral Heart. I want to change that really so we know where we're going with classes. Yeah, please make sure you go to Tracy Man Cake School for classes, not for... Um, products so if you're looking for this you need to go to a different website um, so if you want to do um, floral heart or something that's nice and simple and straightforward it is literally five pounds it's very very cheap to do and we have got one other one that's reappeared and is back on offer now and that's little panda um, which is this one here he's so sweet and this one is now on offer at five pounds so it was ten it's now five um, it's a really cute little project just to get involved with and see how you get on so flowers are not your thing and you just want to have a go at doing something like a panda basically it is a panda um it's just fun and it's really sweet to do and again once you page five pounds that's it you get access to a closed facebook group for this one because it's a facebook it was a facebook live um, and then you can go back and watch it and repeat it and do it as many times as you like so this is on offer today so again if you want to purchase that you will need to go to tracymancakeschool.co.uk for this particular class you don't need many colors for it as well pink white black a little bit of blue and a couple of shades of green and you're there so it's nice and straightforward anyone who has the beginner's cocoa butter cake painting kit uh, which we sell absolutely loads of because it's a really really good starting point and I know loads of you have got this class um, all the colours that you need for this are actually in there so you have got petal blue dusky pink white black uh, spring green and woodland green they're all in that kit so uh, including all your paint brushes and all your metal paint palette and your cocoa butter everything you need to be able to do this and you're going to be able to keep this lesson and just go back to it whenever you want so even if you're maybe never going to paint a panda ever again what it does do it teaches you about shading it teaches you how to build this up to get something like this on sugar paste so if you want to go for something like that it's a good entry class along with the floral heart one as well which is also on facebook so if you do want to have a go they are available today you just need to go to a different website it's tracymancakeschool.co.uk so don't miss out on that one and go the wrong way if you go to let shop cake live you won't find it you have to go to the different site um, purely because um, we've had to split the site in half and put all the lessons on a different page now so that's why um, it's become like that but it's working okay everybody seems to find it all right so once you've checked out of Tracy Man Cake School if you then want to go back and purchase any products then you will need to go back to Tracy's Cakes and order through there or let shop cake live and you'll steer all through there just ordered a cocoa butter kit good oh <laughs> still doing royal icing you've got loads of time to do royal icing and all of these courses as well you know i keep saying this these courses don't just finish they are available all the time so once you've joined royal icing or um floral painting or any of these things they keep going so it's not like you then suddenly it disappears and, and nothing happens there is closed facebook group supports around them so you can jump in ask questions and i'm always watching them i get notifications most of the time um that tell me somebody's post a picture and all this thing and because you're in all the people that are in these closed Facebook groups they're all together which means that they are all enrolled students so there's nobody else looking in you're all in the same boat which means that um, you, you're all painting the same thing which helps you um, and that means then you know you can at least sympathize with each other <laughs> when it's all going wrong which it won't of course because I will be helping you um, but you will be able to share your efforts and then you can put them on other external websites as well and also um, 
tag me in them so I can see them. I am going to be asking for class reviews soon on um, my painting classes. I'm going to be asking you to go back to um, Tracy's Cakes at some point uh, on Facebook and get some reviews going for painting. So I'm going to be putting a little note up about that coming up soon, but I need some reviews on there um, about the painting classes. So if you do have five minutes to spare and you are able to go to Tracy's Cakes and put a review up, that would be very helpful. So there we go. Right, okay, so that's the classes. So again, just to reiterate, every demonstration that I do, whether it's a Facebook Live on Tracy Man Cakes or whether it's a demonstration on Sugar and Crumbs is now being put onto YouTube. And there is a huge amount of variety on there. So if you do want to nip across to YouTube, it's everything about everything on, on here, except Twitter with me, is all Tracy Man Cakes. So go and have a look over there and you will find the YouTube channel. Just subscribe and every week you're gonna get at least two notifications of things that I've done during the week um, two or three depending what we get up to isn't it right Kelly mm -hmm. depends how much time there is <laughs> but there you go right <clears throat> I'm losing my voice this morning that's not helpful okay right let's back to my list I always have my list here because I can't remember anything so where are we? we've done the patchwork cutters right so um let's move on to the where are we the cupcakes okay so we have new cutters we have lovely new cutters actually i can see two of them there's the third one so we've got brand new we talked about this last week didn't we so we showed you these last week they'd literally just arrived now we've had chance to play and i've also managed to do a little video for you so you'll be able to see that let me turn this screen down so we've now got these which are the cupcake cutters uh, cookie cutters so they're now live um, on let's shop cake live they're in a set of three and they are tiny and i had a right play with them this week so i'm going to show you all the bits and pieces that i've made with them so we have got um for the royal ices i've also done a kit for you i'm going to put that with that to give you a bit of a size there is an ultimate cookie royal icing kit that i've put together that's now available so you will be able to get that if you want to have a go at this which includes the cookie cutters well i've got to remember all this kelly haven't i um cookie cutters a bag of whipping it up uh, which is the royal icing um 24 piping bags wilton 18 number two nozzle and then we've got a set of three sprinkles which are the sprinkles that i'm going to show you that and I've, an adapter and an adapter thank you kelly which i used on here so here we go these are the royal iced ones here let's put them up there a little bit um where are we where's the other one and then also i cut out of kelly. the kelly what did i say charlotte Bye. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Kelly cut, Kelly I beg your cut. pardon. These are the little ones here. And then what I did, or rather Kelly did, is halfway through cooking, that's when we did it, wasn't yeah. it? Halfway through cooking, Kelly cut out a section here. And then, are you going to pass me a cup? And then what we worked out is that you could actually stand these on the edge of a cup and they were just fun. They just looked like fun more than anything else. Are you going to pass that over to me because I can't reach that far? Thank you very much. So we had, I put a little picture up on one of my other sites, but you can literally put it that way. You put it on the handle then, what am I doing? You can literally put it onto the edge of your cup like that. And it was just a bit of fun more than anything else. So it looked like, I'm going to put it onto the other camera. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea with my cupcake on it. <laughs> with my cupcake mug, please take note. Let me move that forward there so you can have a little look at it. There we go, that way there. There we go. So, yeah, we cut out that and we popped it on there. We leaned it against the handle. So you'll have to have a look at how big your cup is because there's no point in saying to you, oh, make sure you cut them like an inch because your your handle, your rim of your cup might be something different. Um, but when it comes out the oven, even if it's sort of closed up a little bit, just get a sharp knife and just sort of take the rest of it out. But there you go. You can see that like that. So it's quite sweet, isn't it? It's something a little bit different and it's leaning against that handle there so it's stopping it sort of tipping over but if you wanted to do something like that now size wise let me tell you how small they are um what did i do with the tape measure is it over there kelly i can't remember Why what it is oh you're going to tell me what the cupcake um cutter size is yeah. okay kelly's going to tell me what the so the largest one is 10 centimeters by eight the middle one That's is 10 by eight 7.75 by 6. 7.75 by 6. And 4.75 by 3.85. 
4.75 by 3.85 so the tallest and the widest point that's what we're trying to say with this um let's put this back onto this camera again again so you can see that so you can just leave them as is i'm going to hold one in my hands and you'll see how small it is um and then you can see they get bigger like so so you've got a good idea of how big they are but these are the royal iced ones and i also did them in sugar paste earlier in the week as well and i'm going to show you those in a minute so again that's what you can do there i did your recipe yesterday didn't i i, I was wondering how many i got out this was the entire lot wasn't it because mm -hmm. somebody's going to say next how many do we get out of the cookie recipe now i made one two three four four large one two three four five six medium and then some little ones so quite a few um it might need a big cupcake <laughs> yeah so they are they're very nice aren't they yeah you can imagine having that one on your your um cup that's going to look a bit different isn't it so you make your tea wet uh, uh, you make your cookie wet yeah i think that might be a tiny bit too much for this but you know you never know it might look quite nice just sat next to it maybe in that case but there you go <laughs> It's fine so I did them in royal icing and then I also did them in sugar paste and I painted some live and now that video is available on YouTube now so that's under Tracy Man cakes which I painted these on um, sugar and crumbs Thursday I don't know what day of the week it is half the time so here's a lovely little set here these are the ones that I did on sugar and crumbs I'm just going to talk you through those now so all I did with these and they are so lovely um, was sugar paste on here and then I painted a little rose pattern on here I'll hold this up like this I painted a little rose pattern onto the cupcake itself and then I marked it with a knife and then using Wilton 18 which is one of my nozzles I then got the royal icing and I just piped little rosettes going all the way across the cupcake I popped in some sprinkles um, which we've got on our website they're the candy floss sprinkles and then finished it with this which is the finishing sparkle which is the nice little um which is the nice edible glitter powder puff glitter now i started using this when we first got it in and i've hardly used any and i use it on all my demos literally so it goes a long long way so that's them as a set of three so that gives you a little bit more idea again about the size so what i was trying to do is replicate some of these really nice cupcake cases that you see uh, by just trying to paint them myself um, onto the biscuit so this is a combination of sugar paste and royal icing with this so it's not just um, one or the other it's a bit of both you don't have to make this sugar paste particularly thick you can just put it all on there and you would attach it with either piping gel or a little bit of the whipping it up um, icing sugar that you've made up with a little bit of water and just paint it on um, very lightly I'm going to show you a bit more of that later so you don't need to worry too much about that and then I also used, I also painted, I'll show you this one I painted, I went the other way, went a bit mad here, and did uh, leopard print. So you could do leopard print or you could do zebra print or anything like that. So you don't have to do them all sort of girly, you can do them sort of quite wild and do some different print patterns but also for the people that don't like to do this kind of thing and it's not for everybody painting um, I did use our lovely floral sheets that we've had with the cookies um, and I cut out a base there and made that into the cupcake base so this is an edible sheet that I've put onto the cookie here and again we have got those um, available in sets of two there is a new one out this morning but it's for something else which I'll show you in a minute um, so if you want to do this again it's very straightforward you take hold of your I don't know if I've got one in front of me actually what did I do with that sheet um oh, I'm being too organized I've put it down somewhere I'll find it in a minute what are you looking for? it's all right I'll find it in a second so you're going to put your sheet down use your cookie cutter onto your sheet mark it with an edible pen if you don't have an edible pen get one because they're brilliant um there's an edible black pen and you just draw around the edge of your sheet so you pop that on there draw around the edge of your sheet Put a line going across there and just use your scissors then just to cut it out and that's what you end up with now there's one lady Gillian her name is and she is my cookie queen because she has embraced cookies like you wouldn't believe it and she's done some amazing stuff so um she did um I think she did the coffee cup which I'm going to show you again in a second because I've got some different stuff for the coffee cup this week um but 
these are I'm going to keep coming back to this because I keep thinking of different things I'm kind of going between the coffee cup and the um, cupcakes at the moment because every time I think yeah that's it I keep finding other things that I want to do I also made them up for kids as well so if you remember a couple of weeks ago we had a jungle sheet which we were using for the coffee cups you can also use those on the bottom of the cupcakes so if I hold that one up there you'll see there's a little hippo on the bottom of that they're fun they make really good party bag type gifts so you can make these in advance they dry hard pop them in a bag and then you've got a nice little edible gift to go home or just put them onto the sheet as, um, onto a plate how thick are the cookies we make how thick are they i'll turn them around so you can see them like that ultimately it depends on whether it's me doing it or kelly <laughs> I'm not joking either. It depends on how carried away we're getting. We were making cookies at quarter past nine last night, weren't we? So, yeah. And that was me. So I don't know. I haven't looked at my ones yet. My ones are usually a little bit thicker than Kelly's. So, yeah, these are mine. These are yours, Kelly. Yeah, mine always come out a bit thicker. But that's um, what we were doing last night, making some more of these so we can do some more... Um, filming so we've got some more royal ice ones to film uh, we filmed one set now i say we me and then i made a mistake and had the camera around the wrong way so it's um not come out very well i've got to do that again but i'm planning on um the ones you saw first which were the royal ice ones these little ones here you're going there will be a video for that coming out onto youtube next week it's just that i've messed it all up because some um, yeah i don't know what i was doing but anyway i managed to mess it up so that's going to be coming up this is very 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 easy and very straightforward to do now the coffee cup which is where is this coffee cup one the coffee cup cutter it's a bit of a mouthful that one isn't it have we got one kelly coffee cup yeah I just had it. oh there it is i've got it okay please note all our cutters are pink as well <laughs> um so this is the coffee cup cutter that we had that Gillian did that amazing amount of um work on now i've got a new sheet out this morning called fun food uh, which i'm going to show you now how to have a go with so let's put those out of the way and it's just a bit of fun and i always get the word wrong kelly tells me off when i say it wrong but it looks a little bit like that what is it kawaii have kawaii. i said it kawaii yeah. did i say it right yeah you normally say kawaii kawaii, kawaii. kawaii is just japanese for cute japanese for cute so this is our new sheet this morning this is called fun food now it's all together on an a4 sheet and it's super fun and the idea with it is to kind of cut around it and then stick it on things be it cupcakes or be it um travel cups or whatever it is that we're going to just do one on there in a second and um, or you could use the whole thing we're going to have a go and see what we can get away with the print's quite big so if you put it over there on your coffee cup you'll have to kind of line it up a little bit to get the bits that you want because you're going to cut it normally across there but we'll have a go and we'll see how we get on but this one here is called fun food i think i put it down as um, and that's available now now again earlier in the week i made up like a caramelly color sugar paste which ideally is going to go with this now that's just fluke that's not planned <laughs> that sort of thing doesn't normally happen to me but it has so i'm happy with that we'll run with that and what we're going to do is we're going to move that over i'm just going to put that there yeah if you make your biscuits thinner you'll get more of them for sure 100 percent, you will and as i say it's very difficult to say you're going to get this number out because one you might roll them thicker and secondly um you may well um make more large ones than you do small ones you know there's all sorts of things that can happen so who knows it's just a bit of fun isn't it more than anything else i've got something stuck in there that's annoying me right so let's roll this out and what we'll do is we'll put this onto the coffee cup and we'll just put some fun food on here on this one and then we'll dye it up a different color and we'll have a little play with this and see how we get on. But there's loads of images on there, which means that you can cut out some different ones according to whichever one it is that you like. There we go. So our biscuit recipe comes with the Royal Icing course. It comes with our pizza cookie kit and it comes with, what's the other one? The cookie kit, the ultimate cookie kit. So we do... Royal Icing cookie party kit. Kelly knows. <laughs> I thought we did it for another one. But maybe... Yeah, there's three of them. The cook ultimate cookie kit in the pizza kits with the with the unicorns and the other one. Royal icing. Royal icing and also royal icing uh, course. So it's on all of those. There we go. You get lots of cookie recipes online, so 
should be fine. So then we'll just take hold of this and we'll pop that down. Now when you press a cutter down, you do need to give it a little twist. Let me get rid of that for a second. I've got the wrong one up. There we go. Put that up there like so. And what I'll do is I'll cut a second one out. But I really want to do a pink one if I can. Although I can't remember if I picked my pink icing up. I've probably got some somewhere. There's normally pink icing everywhere, isn't there, Kelly? Okay, so we'll put that one on like that. And again, just give it a little wiggle. The wiggle. There we go. Put that there. Right, so we've done with that. Gee, these neon colours. I could use those, actually, couldn't I, Kelly? Might be a bit dark for me. Yeah, but I was thinking of adding some white to that. Does that work? See, I'm asking Kelly now. Actually, that isn't a neon, that's a leaf green. Do you think that will go with that, Madam Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's have a go with this. So this is leaf green, which is a lovely colour. I'm always using this colour. I use it in all my cupcake bouquets as well. It's a really, really nice colour, uh, which I've made up a little bit of sugar paste, but I, it's a bit too strong. So what we'll do is we'll tone it down a bit so we get more of a like a mint green type colour. And then we'll run it past Kelly to make sure she approves. Put a bit more white in there, I think. Okay. I don't need a bit more because I'm just going to cut well, cut a couple out, I suppose, couldn't we? See what we can come up with. I tend to do a blue one as well, and I managed to find my blue dye the other day, unbelievably. Okay, so we'll just give that a knead through. See if we can come up with some um, pastel y sets type thing, Kelly. Mm -hmm. So these sheets don't join. I just need to make sure you're aware of this, okay? So they don't join. They are two separate sheets, but I've put them quite close together. Uh, no matter what I did, they did not match. Um, so you've got two sheets like that. So the idea with it is you can cut out bigger strips and you can obviously put strips onto cakes, um, but we're going to focus on cutting out just some of the images this morning. So that's how we're going to deal with it. So I don't want anyone getting it and then going, it doesn't match. I'm telling you, it doesn't match. <laughs> Right, there we go. So that's just a little bit of green sugar paste. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put a bit of icing sugar down because when you cut out, if you haven't got any icing sugar down, you tend to find this sometimes drag and you want it to move like that. Okay, and we'll just pick that up like so. Perfect. That's what we want. And then we'll do one pink one. Let me find my pink icing. Got some white. Let's get some pink. So we'll use Colour Splash Pink, which has got something else on it because it's been my colour. Place. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I do for sure. Everything leaks over everything else. Let's pop that there. I'll give that a bit of a knead. Right, let's pop a little bit of that in. Oh, that's probably a bit much. Oh well. Maybe we're going to have some slightly brighter ones. Let's put that over there. And then what we'll do, actually, I'm just going to remove that a little bit, pop that over there on that piece of sugar paste. And if I need it, I can add it in, can't I? Otherwise, it's going to clash with my colour scheme. <laughs> I have a plan, you see. I don't want that ruining my plan. <laughs> so I'll we'll need that. That's better. Right, let's get rid of that because I'm bound to put my arm in it somewhere along the line. Yeah, so we'll go for kind of like pastel -y shades for this. There you go, something like that. They look quite nice as a set, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Kelly's cookie recipe, unfortunately, is delicious, and it's the one thing that I really struggle with when they're around. Really? Yeah. How do you not notice no. that <laughs> the pile has been going down? <laughs> <Money>. <laughs> Just 
don't tell Charlotte. Uh, she's probably watching. She'll know now. No, no, the cookie. No, I know. <laughs> the cookie recipe, everybody, is fatal. I know, honestly. It's not good. It's good, but it's not good, if that makes any sense. Right, let's cut this last one out. Pop that on. Press it down. Give it a wiggle. Make sure it's cut right through. There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. Now, we're going to take hold of some royal icing. So we've got uh, whipping it up in here um, and a palette knife. All I'm going to do is just take some of this icing and I'm just going to pop it into a little bowl like so. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra water and just turn it into a sort of paste I suppose and that's what I'm going to use to stick my sugar paste on. So you can either use this, now this will definitely set rock hard so I always think this is probably the best way forward for sticking this down. Um, you can use piping gel if you want to, um, I just wouldn't use neat water because then obviously you're going to make your biscuits all soggy so we don't want to be doing that. You've got to be... Also if you're putting on glue, someone said that they struggle with soft biscuits, don't put that much on. Yeah, don't go wild with it. If you see what I'm doing, you'll see that I don't put on absolutely tons of it. Um, it's enough to make it sticky. So if you can see what I'm doing, there's not masses and masses of it. Someone just said, how do they leave a review or is that not coming yet? I will talk to you about that later on. Yeah, I'm going to put a thing up on, um, Tra it's going to be on Tracy Mann Cakes. It's going to be on that page. Um, and I'll talk to you about that later, how to do that. So that's how you're going to do that. It's very easy and very straightforward. So take your royal icing and then literally just paint it onto your cookie so it's sticky can you see that I've not put too much on there is in enough I think enough is the probably easiest way to define it isn't it I'll put that on like that okay that's two the cookies vary depending on whether it's me or Kelly that gets near them isn't it Kelly mm. and it was mm, uh, did you do these or did I know I do these I can't remember no idea no idea sometimes they come out bumpy but if they come out bumpy I've found if you um, put another uh, cookie tray on top, one they come straight out the other and just press down lightly on it. No, you get rid of any of the bumps. No, you tell me. <laughs> the thing is, it doesn't really matter if they come out bumpy because you're covering them, covering them in sugar paste. Yeah, exactly. And once you like squish them down, they're relatively flat. Even if you're covering them or flooding them in royal icing, it's done. Yeah, you won't see it. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's a biscuit at the end of the day, so you don't want to be staying up all night worrying about it. Right, there we go. So we've got a nice little selection there. Now we're going to mark the um, top of it. So let's take hold of our knife. And all I'm going to do, knife or plastic side scraper is very good for this. Just take my still on screen. Yeah, it might help if I actually check. Um, we're just going to do that across like that. So either a knife or your plastic side scraper will do this job for you, just to make the lid. Now if you wanted to make them different colours, you can. we're going to paint them, so you can do that as well. Our ultimate cookie kit includes royal gold, which is a really nice colour actually for doing um, the toppers on those. So um, that's really good. Now let me bring this forward. This is our cocoa butter painting, part of our cocoa butter painting kit. Oh, matches. There they are. Oh, the joy of lighting matches on screen. <laughs> One of my least favourite things. Oh, my mom took me about five attempts yesterday. There we go. OK, so what this is, if anybody's thinking, what is she up to now? This is um, to do with cocoa butter paintings. We need a heat source. Um, we have one of these, which is a chrome food warmer. We don't sell them. They are available on Amazon. Just go onto Amazon, put in chrome food warmer, and then you will see it. And then that sits on top like that. Now, this gets very hot. And once it gets really, really hot, it will start to melt the cocoa butter, which is then what we need to be able to paint with. Uh, so let's get the cocoa butter in here. Now we include this in the cocoa butter painting kit. That's what it looks like. So let's put some on there. I've got a few little painting bits coming up shortly, so I'll put a, put a few extra bits on this morning. In the kit as well, there is four paint brushes, um, zero, one, two and three. We do have five paint brushes actually, but five we have five paint brushes in a separate kit. Um, which it actually, joy of joy, we've got paintbrushes everywhere at the moment, which I'm really pleased about because we've really, really struggled to get them 
um, and we have now got them. I have to tell you that um, edible printers has turned into my paintbrush nightmare this week and I then discovered once my edible printer had decided not to cooperate that buying an edible printer was the new thing, my new paintbrush nightmare. So um, yes, no comment, Canon haven't got any printers in the country. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing now, but I wasn't laughing at the time. I can tell you uh, it's been a difficult week, she says, smiling through it. Um, so if you want to paint the top of these, you can see this is starting to melt. In the ultimate cookie kit, we've got this one here, which is uh, royal gold. So I'm going to pop this down here. So I'll stick that on there. It's a really nice gold colour. I'm going to use that for the topper and put that on there. You can see the cocoa butter starting to melt for those of you that haven't ever seen any of this before. Um, and then what we do is we'll get our little sheet. So while that's doing its business there, we will get some scissors. Oh, no scissors. That's another thing I can never find on a live. Although I did have them earlier because I was fiddling around doing something, which is probably fatal. Right. Another container. Let's put those patchwork cutters over there so I don't knock them over. Right, I've got a little bowl here, which I've now adopted, which has become my area for my equipment, hasn't it, Kelly? Mm. It's been a little bit better, actually, since I've got that, because then I don't tend to lose the little things. It's all the little things. You know, I go for a nozzle, can't find it. So I found to find my scissors. Now, looking at this sheet, as I say, we've got a couple of options. You can either do it as um, a whole one, which we'll do first. Let's do that first. Let's put those out of the way so we don't knock them. We'll let that carry on melting. We'll come back to that. So we have got here So what we can do is we can line this up. Now, I don't normally include this bit here, which means if you look at this pattern, I'm going to be cutting this cupcake's um, head off. So if I want that in there, I need to move it up. If I point, put my line across there like that, that's the view I'm going to get on my cookie. So you need to really think about that. Um, before you cut it out because if you think that's going to be included if it's up there it probably won't be unless you want it to be of course in that case then there's no problem at all right edible pen now let's get hold of an edible pen these are the edible pens that we stock they have thick on one end and thin on the other so we're going to use the thin end I'm going to just turn this around I'm just going to move that out of the way and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up like so and I'm just going to take my pen and I'm just going to draw around it so this is the same method that I used to do the bottom of those cupcake cases all right so all I did was draw around it underneath it like that with my edible pen let me find that's it someone said that they're going to make the coffee coffee cup cookie with the new coffee Ice icing from Sugar and Crumb. Perfect. That sounds great. Excellent. I love it. Good news, I reckon. So I'm just going to take this plastic side scraper here and I'm just going to join that up. If I try and do it any other way, it won't work. So there you go. So I've joined that up like that. And then we'll grab hold of some scissors. So I need to put the lid on this as well. Don't forget to put the lid on your edible pens. They do last a lot longer if you actually do that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll take a sheet like this and we will cut this out and we'll use this as one. It's just nice to see what it looks like, how the print's coming out on the cookie as well as just individual. So these are sugar sheets, so they're printed, um, they're edible printing. I've got to stop moaning about edible printing when I'm online because it has been very traumatic. <laughs> I just sound like I've... Oh, dear. I think if I had to grade it, I'd put edible printing at the top, wouldn't I, Kelly? Yeah. Closely followed by paintbrushes, but I have to say the edible printing has like tip, so tipped me over the edge. Uh, you, you... <laughs> I love cutting things out. I know with Kelly, and I'm looking at her now, she's getting to the point where she's looking like she's going to leap off the chair, and that's normally because I'm doing something that, she, wa cut something that she wants to do, you see. This is it. This is what happens. Isn't that right, Kelly? Do you need me to cut them out? Do I need you to cut them out? I want... The little, um, you can cut some individual ones out for me. I need some little ones, oh, okay. there you go, to do on here. So I've 
I want to go around them, yeah. not up close. Let me pass those to you then while I do yes. that. It's one, it's a very nice icing sheet, isn't it? Now what I've got here is a little bit of water. Now again, don't put down tons and tons of water, just a little bit, enough to stick it. So when you put your paintbrush into the water, take it out and then wipe it before you put it onto your cookie, because otherwise you just end up with way too much. And then what happens is then, you trying to press it all down, water comes out the side, you continue to press it down, then before you know it, you've got um, paint, uh, water onto this and the paint comes off. So you need to peel this off, this backing sheet, like so, there you go. And then we'll pop that onto there, like so. How much fun is that? Oh, Kelly, you're gonna like this. I'm gonna have to show you in a second. Okay. Can you just talk about where you get the cookie sheet, so uh, cookie recipe from? Our specific cookie recipe we have in a couple of places. We have uh, with the ultimate cookie kit. We have it with the pizza decorating kit. And if you're a member of our royal icing class, so that's how you would get it. But I think I might have to start putting it as an available on its own. But we do include it if you purchase any of those items. Right. It, you, there's loads of cookie recipes online. So. Um, if you don't use this one, you can use that. I've just put that in water. That's not very helpful. Right, now we're going to just paint the top of this. So I'm just trying to find a bit of kitchen roll, which I now have. And then what I'm going to do, I've got paintbrush number three here. Actually, I don't want that one. I want paintbrush two if I've got it. Yes, I have. Right, let me just clean this out because I've been painting with pink. So let's get that out. So I'm just dipping it into the cocoa butter, which is an oil. So it's now melted, you see, so it's turned into a liquid. And now the royal gold is included with a paintbrush and some cocoa butter in the cookie decorating kit, which Kelly won't put a link up for at the moment because she's cutting out. How many do you want? <laughs> um, oh, I don't know, two or three, just some nice ones. And then I'm going to take hold of this. Now, this is a luster colour. Now, the minute you start um, trying to paint the luster colour, it tends to grab the cocoa butter a bit more, so you need to tip in a little bit more. All right, so you just have to, and it's also making a horrid noise, which I will have to stop because it will annoy me otherwise, like so. So we're just making up a sort of thickish paint. So you mix the two together, like so, and then we're just going to paint the lid of this, just so it looks a bit different. But it's quite nice, this colour, because it's on the same sort of shade as the rest of the project, I think. I think so anyway. It's quite nice for the lid to be a little bit different anyway. Or you can leave it as is. Have you got me some bits? Oh. Did you cut me a cake, a cake out? Um, what did you cut me? A strawberry, a lolly. Is there a cake on there? Yeah, can you cut and the watermelon, please? Thank you. Exactly. Kelly's playing. Can't answer questions. I oh, know. This is the thing. Uh, who said that? Is that Nikki? Nikki. Yeah. She knows. She knows. Nick is my unofficial okay. PA. I need her when Kelly starts cutting things out, you see, because <laughs> she's stopped doing the links, haven't you? Yeah. There we go. So this sheet is on Let's Shop Cake Live. Now, if you get any of our sheets, whether it's a cake topper or it's an edible sheet, keep them in the bag we supply. Please do not undo um, the sheets. So if you take them out of the plastic bag, use what you need to use. If you've got anything left over, put them back in the plastic bag and seal it. If you keep it sealed, then you this will not go off. If um, When I say go off, what happens is it goes dry and crispy and that's no good to you. So there you go. How about that? That could not be any better if you tried, could you? It's so lovely. So that's um, the top of that. Also, just bear in mind that you have to just go across the top here as well. Have we got any new people watching today? Is anybody new who's not seen any of this before? If you have, write it in the comments. You're very welcome. I'm sure you're probably thinking, what is she up to? All sorts of different things. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Now I've got a nice selection. I'm happy with that. OK, so I've had Kelly cut some of these out of the sheet so you can see what she's done. So if this is all left over and I oh, I wanted the ice cream as well. No, you. Right. Play it back. <laughs> you did not ask for it. I like the ice cream. Can you cut the ice cream out, please? Um, so I'm going to pass this back to Kelly. Um, so you can cut out little bits. And when I've finished and I've got all this left over, I might want to use this on another project. I would then put it back in the plastic bag and seal it. And then it will be ready and it will stay fresh. So what we don't want it to do is dry out. I'm passing this now back to Kelly. The blue ice cream. I want the blue ice cream, the tall, this one. lovely one. That one on the far right this hand one. side. Yeah, but that one. 
Is well, that one you cut across the straw? Okay. Honestly, you can't can't get the staff, Kelly. <laughs> Yeah, this is all edible. So these are edible sheets. They're on sugar paste. You can um, eat them. No problem at all. They're printed sheets. Right. OK, while Kelly's doing that, let's paint another one. Let's get our brush going again. I've grabbed this brush. I hope it's the right one. It seems to be. And we'll pop that on there. So if you haven't joined us before, what we are is basically um, a shopping channel. So a cake shopping channel. And what we do is we show you the products. And then you see the website underneath there, which is Let Shop Cake Live. Some things are limited. Some things are available. Lots of them. Um, depends what it is. And then it's an informal one anyway. Let's put it another way. We're not very formal here. We <laughs> we're winging it most of the time. I mean, if you turn the camera around and you saw me. Yeah, if you saw Kelly's Chaos. So thank you, Kelly. That's the one I wanted. So she's cut out some of the... My, Kelly's my daughter. So she's cut out some of the bits I need. And she's there putting links up as well. So you'll be able to link through to the products and what's going on there. There you go. I'll do that one there. So move that over. Right. Actually, we've got ice pink sorbet in that container. Oh, I can see it. It's OK. I've got it. Let's use this one as well. Here we go. Right. Let's pop that on there. So we'll just use a little bit of this one, which is iced pink sorbet. Very nice colour. And we'll just clean our brush in between. So we just dip that in the cocoa butter and just get rid of all the royal gold that's on there. And then what we'll do is we'll pick that up, mix that in with the... This is a really nice colour, a really nice colour. A real candy pink colour, this one. And we'll pop that on there as well. You'll see what I mean when I'm painting it. I'll lift it up so you can have a little look there. Yes, this is a very nice channel. We're very friendly. We're happy to help. We like eating chocolate. Kelly likes eating chocolate. No, we all do. Well, what, what, yeah. We talk about it a lot. We talk about chocolate a lot. When um, If you buy anything from Let's Shop, um, we do send out samples now and again, bits and pieces as well. So you can have a little look at things. We've been sending out vegan chocolate recently because it's... um. It's a little bit different and I thought, actually, do you know what? It might be quite nice to try a little bit and see what you think. Personally, I preferred the white to the milk. That was my take on it. But, um, yeah, it was all right, actually. I didn't give you any, though, did I, Kelly? No. Kelly's allergic to nuts, so I am i didn't give her any. It's not got nuts in it, but it is made in an environment that contained nuts. Yeah, the warning on it about anyone who was um, allergic to nuts was a bit like, mm, I don't know about this, so... Normally I'm standing and hovering over her every time she eats anything that involves an EpiPen or any description. Um, if you wanted to paint this a different colour, you should just be able to go straight over it, especially if it's a luster. Let's turn this pink just because we can. There you go. So as long as um, it's a luster colour, which is what the ice pink sorbet is, it will just change near enough straight away. Sometimes you have to do a couple of extra layers, but you can see it covers fairly well. Especially if you're going to a dark colour. If you're going the other way to a lighter colour, it can be a little bit more tricky. You like the vegan chocolate? Yeah, people did like the vegan chocolate. Yeah. What is the... Uh, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, what's the colour of the first coffee cup you painted? Was it royal gold? So the lid of the royal... Um, sorry, yeah, the lid of the coffee cup I painted with royal gold. The base colour of the sugar paste was a colour we don't stock, actually. It's called sugar flare... What was it? Caramel and ivory. And I used it in a demo earlier in the week and I said to them, if you get any left over, don't chuck it away because there'll be so much more you can do. And ever since then, I've been using it on every live I think going. So um, if you dye up a colour, don't just go, oh, I'm never going to use this again. Hold on tight to it because you can adapt it and use it for something else. I had, um, we did a golden, we, as well, me and you, Kelly, didn't we? We did a golden wedding anniversary bouquet last week and we ended up with a lot of kind of gold left over. And then we brought it down in, dyed it brown and made hedgehogs. So, you know, hold on tight to your things. Don't waste anything. There you go. Right. So that's all those painted. We're going to bring the colouring back in later on because we've got things that we can do. Um, there we go. Oh, there's some nice comments coming up about my teaching. That's good. <laughs> right. So we have got these little ones. I've made Kelly cut these out because they're fun. And all you're going to do is just take hold of this and you're just going to peel them back like so. And then we're going to take another paintbrush. I need to find a smaller one, actually. Let's try. What have we got? 
I'm trying to find one that's not got cocoa butter on it. That's a job in itself. Right, we'll use this one. Just check there's nothing in it. No, that's fine. Now you can paint directly onto the back of these, but you need to be a bit careful because um, if you put too much water on, they start disintegrating. So I'm going to just kind of show you how to do that. So a little bit of water, just support it like so. Then you're going to take that and turn that over. Which one are we going to put this one on? This one, Kenny? I can't see. I'm turning the something. pink one. Okay, because we're going to pop that one on there like so i'll tell you what else has just sprung to mind our new sprinkles mm -hmm. i know i'm getting carried away now this is fatal okay royal icing let's get some of that and then i'm going to change my nozzle because the nozzle i've got on it currently is too big let's switch it over we can switch it over to one of the royal ice's favorite nozzles nozzle number one they all love that one kelly okay. i can't <laughs> imagine what they or not, they may not like that one particularly. That's a 1.5, let's not be too mean. Let's go to a 1.5 nozzle, right. And let's bring this around. So we've got some, um, this is actually whipping it up. There we go, royal icing, which we do in velvet vanilla flavor, which is very nice. Also check out the cocktail kit. Don't forget this, that's just come out as well before I forget. So there is a brand new cocktail kit We've called it Mocktail Cupcake Kit, and it includes two of the sugar and crumbs icing sugars, the mojito and the passion fruit martini. And then on top of that, we've also got some cocktail discs that you can then cut out and put on top of your cupcakes. They're very flash as well. So um, so I have got some, um, this is me to a T, this. Um, we've got these sprinkles now in stock, which are the little um, tiny ones here. So what we could do, and I know this is going to be painful, but I just got to do it is we can put these on individually. I know I'm terrible with sprinkles. I like to be able to put them where I want to put them, not where they land. Isn't that right, Kelly? Mm. So you could stick these on. Tell you what, this is quicker than um, piping individual colours. If you pipe individual colours, it's take forever. But then you could also decide which ones you want and which ones you don't want. So... You can spend a bit of time doing this. And we've got the sprinkles in sets of three, I think. Three lots of 30 grams. There's stars. This is called something like confetti. And then there's the other I'll one. Put the thing up. They've done the link already. Good girl. Have the silver balls been regulated to the back of the cupboard? <laughs> I've not had them out recently, have I? I need to get them out again. Actually, we're entering. We're getting towards um, a couple of new phases coming up, which will be... Um, bling we've got a bling phase coming up and also a gardening phase coming up they don't really go together do they but yeah we will be oh, i don't like that one there it's got to come off i need a different one there um yeah so they will be back out again but this kind of just suits this style i think kelly what do you think mm -hmm. <laughs> nikki says i've hidden them hidden the balls yeah. the silver balls so been using silver balls like they've been going out of fashion there we go look at that that looks so cool right let me hide bring that up a bit there for you so you can see that how much fun is that so nice little um picture on there and then we've just used these ones here which is confetti that's what these are called and then that is going to um decorate that one so that's a little bit different isn't it so let's put that there i'm going to just put the lid back on these sprinkles because otherwise they're going to end up all over the place and then we've got some little star ones here as well so we've got a few more bits that kelly's cut out so let's have a little think where we want to put them kelly have you got any particular suggestions so i know what you're like where would you like to put these madam i'm going to let mm, you take over for a minute a fruit cup you can do a fruit one Lovely, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A cake one? Fruit one and a cake one. I don't know. Well, I'll let the lolly. You get the lolly on there. I think they're just fun like that. Let's do that. You could always put that on the lid of one. Yeah, you could put that. that. Yeah, that's, yeah, you could actually. Right, let's peel this mm -hmm. back again. We're getting carried away here. This is the only slight problem with something like this is that Kelly and I actually end up having loads of fun with this. <laughs> Forget we're live half the time. Right, so let's pop that on there like so. That's a little strawberry. And this is a bit of watermelon, I think. And it's nice because it's picking up the lid colour, so that kind of all goes together, doesn't it? So I'm going to pop that on there. Pop that there like that. 
and you could just leave it plain you don't have to put the confetti on but just remember what I said to you when you put these on just be really careful you don't end up um, getting them all muddled up actually this colour scheme works better with this selection Kelly are you going against what I said? no I'm not going against what you said I said you're right oh good okay let's do this so let's paint this back right let's put that there like so and again same with this one don't forget to peel off the plastic back in fact to be honest you're going to struggle to get them to stick if you don't peel it off because it will just slide so hopefully you should realize what's going on but this is actually quite sweet now when i've done all of this when i normally finish let's shop i normally take photos of everything and i put them onto um, the group so that you're able to see things up close so if you can't see these um then i will put them on there anyway but look how cute they are do i want stars on there kelly little stars no, i think so but what we'll do is we'll try and stick to a bit more of a color scheme this time so let's go where's my royal icing and that lovely number one nozzle that my royal ices they love it they do so we've got a little blob of royal icing on there not water we need something to make sure these stick so we'll put a little a couple of little yellow stars on here maybe how about that that was now i want to put them on that you see now it's just started me off on there right let's put some little We'll put pink on this one now. It set me off, but we've got the stars as well. Okay, let's put that on there. Okay, and then one more. Now, how cute are these? They're really cute, aren't they? How about that? Oh, I love it. And then Kelly's put there, look, on that one. She's added that one there. You could do that couldn't you so if you want to stick this one onto the top you would just do exactly the same even though you've painted that nothing's going to come off so just take your black backing sheet off take hold of your water and then just go over that turn it over and then just stick it on the top of the coffee cup like that if you've got a sprinkle in the way you can always move it out the way there you go look at that they're lovely aren't they aren't they cool they're totally different. I think they're something really different. And um, as I say, we will take pictures of them at the end so that you can see them up close. I think you're getting a pretty good view there at the moment, but they look... Um, they look what, Mum? Very nice. Kawaii. 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 But if it's that is, it's kawaii -ne. Yeah, I always get it wrong. I know. kawaii <laughs> It's Oh, not nozzle number one was what we used, isn't it? We use nozzle one to stick things, the little confettis down. You could get away with nozzle two if you particularly want to, but um, that's what we use for that. So also going back to the cupcakes with that, you could use a couple of these little emblems on the bottom of here as well. Actually, we might do that quickly. Mm. Um, did I put that on the other nozzle? Oh no, we'll come back to that later. We'll do that later on in the video. So we can do, you can cut out a section of this as on the bottom of the cupcake in the same um, pattern and then do some swirls just like we did on here. And then you've created a cupcake case as well. So they are, they're really, they're, they're lovely, aren't they? I'm really happy with these. Very, very nice. So that's the brand new sheet, which is called Food Sheet or something like that. Oh, yeah. And also, don't forget, we've also got our lovely Have a Nice Day stickers, which are also super fun. I'm going to just move my star out of the way there. You could put a little Have a Nice Day sticker on there. Look, I'll just do a little shift. I missed that. Let's put that on. Don't want to miss that out. Let's put that on. Then we'll relocate our star somewhere else. So, yeah, we've got these little coffee cup stickers as well. Have a nice day. Well, they made me laugh anyway. So we'll put that there like so. Oh, I've got a whole concept going on here. This coffee cup, it just keeps giving, doesn't it? Right, let's take, whoops. I'm going to just put my star there now and just move it around a little bit like so. There we go. Probably less is more. We're getting carried away now, but that's fine. We're allowed to. It's okay. <laughs> Right, there you go. So there's a nice set there, four coffee cups, which again, I will put them onto Facebook so you can see them. Let's have a nice day. Which again, same principle as these, just put some water underneath it and stick them down and that's them done. So that's the coffee cup and the new cupcake 
um, cutters as well. Don't forget these are in a set of three. The coffee cup one is on its own. So that's the coffee cup just on its own, but you can also buy it as a kit. Um, there's a really nice kit um, that goes with this one. Kelly will put the link up for you in a second. Um, and that includes things for painting. What it doesn't include is the sheets that go underneath it. Now with the oh, coffee... I linked the one with the sheets in it. Okay, well, no, the, you can buy the sheets separately, but we've got a floral one. Actually, that's in that box there. Can you pass it to me? It's over there. So we've got a lovely floral daisy one. It's under that one. Yeah, it's in there. The floral one. And we've also got um, a daisy one as well. Kelly's just moving things around. A big crash in a minute. As long as it's not the iPad, that's fine. Um, <laughs> can you just, is there any floral daisy ones in there? What's this one? Yep, perfect. So that's this one. Oh, actually, these go really nicely with this. Thank you. And then this one here. So these are the two floral ones that we've got. Now, we do this in a set. There we go. Whoop. So this one, this one and this one are all in a set on their own as well. So if you want to have a go at doing these sheets now, um, the lovely Gillian did a whole load of these this week. So if she's on, she might tell you how many she got out of a sheet. But they looked amazing on mass. They looked incredible. But Kelly, look, this goes really well with this slot look do you agree oh no here she comes she's got some more ideas are you going to give me another one what do you think well, that one has a sticker on it as well have a nice day oh look we've got a whole box thing going on here let's put that one there that one there there we go something like that there that looks really nice. I like that. There you go. So lots of ideas with the coffee cups there. Lots of ideas with the cupcakes as well. So all the kits and everything you will find on Let's Shop. Um, Kelly will now put up every link conceivable because she's been... I might just link the website. Because <laughs> she's been busy uh, cutting things out. And I'm going to pop these away into my box because I want to take photos of those later on. So we'll move those out of the way so we don't end up getting them damaged and put them over there now we're going to have a look at um, some of the other chocolate molds that we've got in at the moment we've got some in for father's day uh, coming up so we have got the golf ball mold has now appeared now i've made these now so last week i showed you these this week i've made them so what i've done is i've made the little golf balls here so you can see that they literally just sit in like that now these are quite deep so I did have a bit of a think about these and actually thought you could turn this into a chocolate of some description so you could line this so you could take your white chocolate line it with um, the chocolate fill it with something like a praline or um, some sort of chocolate filling and then ganache. cover ganache and then cover it at the top and then you would end up with a little chocolate that can then sit on top of a cupcake. And that's what I was going to do. So I was going to just show you quickly how easy that is to do. So I have got, let me just get my bowl. Um, did I bring down the icing? Oh, yeah, I did. It's next to me. What am I on? It's right next to me. Oh, no, it's buttercream for this, isn't it? Not royal icing. We're going the wrong way here. It's that I've way. Buttercream, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've got it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cover up. Um, we're just going to get a little bit of icing. Oh, we're going to do loads. We'll just do a little bit. Just show you how to put it together because it helps to see it, isn't it? We have all these ideas in our head and we know what they look like, but it's nice for you to see how it's done. So we've got some buttercream in there. I'm just going to take hold of some of this lovely leaf green colour and we'll pop that in. I'll put in a fair bit because I want it to be quite dark. And then I'm going to use Wilton 18 nozzle for this. I'm not going to use grass nozzle because they are difficult. Um, we had in the past for grass, we've used um, our uh, sugar craft gun or extruder. Now, at the moment, there are no sugar craft guns available because lo and behold, this is another one. Uh, the parts that are used to make the sugar craft gun are not in the country. So this is another problem that we've got at the moment. There seems to be shortages all over the place. And this is another one. So anyone who's got a sugar craft gun, hold on tight to it because there are no other sugar craft guns at the moment available. And I am in touch with the supplier and that's the uh, what they've told me. So please keep hold of them because... Um, I haven't got any more and nor am I likely to get any more at the moment. I've got them on order, but yeah, they are stuck. There you go. I'm tempting you again, am I? <laughs> now, the only other thing with this, um, apart from obviously the fact we're going to just pipe our grass with a little bit of green buttercream, the golf ball isn't white. Now, you've got a choice with this. You can either 
um, it's a creamy yellowy colour because that's what chocolate is. So you can either paint it post um, making it or you can put the white into the chocolate from the word go. I'm just going to paint it because I can. You can also paint names onto them. You could paint names onto them, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, you could. Because normally they have like Callaway or I think Taylor. What is it, Taylor made something like that? I think Callaway maybe one step too far. Yeah, I know, but normally they have that, so you could just write Chris, like Dad. You want me to put Dad's name on? Well, it? no, I was just saying, like, because <laughs> normally girl balls have. Yeah, they do. Like. Yep. Person or like a brand name. Personalized golf balls, right? Okay, so I'm gonna just get hold of. I'm just going to dip that in there because I need to get this pink out of my brush, which I've just been using. So we're on paintbrush three, actually, this time. So we're going to go for a slightly bigger one. So, yeah, you can either... There's all sorts of things on the market you can use to, to dye things different colours with chocolate. Please don't use things like this in chocolate because they don't work. Um, you can just do... Um, just paint it. It's much easier. It's much quicker. And then you don't have to worry about getting it wrong. So let's turn this around, bring this in a little bit. And we just dip that in there, grab some white. You might have to do it a couple of times, but it might be okay. We'll see how we go. Now, I'm, what I might do is I'm going to put it straight onto the cupcake because then I won't have to move it. That'll save me a job. So I'm going to just take hold of this, grab some of the buttercream. Now, I've done this in a green case. I'm just going to pop that on like so. I'm just going to pop that on top. Make sure it's stuck down. There we go. Yep, you could put a birthday number on it, put a little flag, you could do all sorts of things on it, couldn't you? My husband plays golf, so we know quite a lot about golf, don't we, Kenny? Well, you used to make me go to golf lessons. I did, because I didn't want to go. Um, <laughs> right, there we go. So you can see there's quite a big difference in colour. Can you see when I'm painting this how it's gone from being the yellow colour of... Um, White chocolate. White chocolate to now the golf ball colour. So I'm just going to literally run it straight over the top. It will dry. It won't taste of anything. But it means you've got the true white of a golf ball. And you can see just, you know, it's quite dry going over there. I'm not putting on absolutely tons and tons of paint. And when they eat it, they're not going to be covered in it either. So and they're very quick to do. If you've got a nice big brush, you'll literally just whiz straight over this. This is paintbrush three. So it's one of our many paintbrushes and it's done fairly quick, isn't it? So look, that's not going to take too long. Just fill in the holes. And again, you can write dad or whatever you want on there or birthday numbers. If you don't want to write it on there, if that seems a little bit too much, then you can always use some cutters and cut them out and just stick that on there as well but this is quite big so i think this would be quite nice where it's either a great big lump of chocolate which is very nice or you can fill it and put something else on there okay right then what we'll do i've even got a piping bag on standby which is highly unusual uh we'll just cut the end of the bag off i won't bother to put an adapter in we'll just cut it straight off let's get rid of that and we'll take hold of this nozzle we'll just put it straight into the bag. Have I cut it too short? No. And then we'll take hold of this buttercream. You could also put some of that dirt in. You know, the, the Oreo. The Oreo dirt. Yeah, you could. Or you could put little sand or, you know, if you were doing a big golf cake, you know, you could put them kind of at the bottom of the cake. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. You can actually join them together as well. So if you wanted to make a whole golf ball, not just a half one, um, you can join them together. Let me bring it back on so you can see it. So you make the two and then what you would do is put them on a little sort of hot tray or something, melt the chocolate and then join them together. So you've got that option as well to turn them into a... And then all I'm going to do is just take my... Um, nozzle it's like the hedgehog all over again isn't it from last week and then just pipe your grass in try not to do it in rows if you can help it because it looks a bit fake otherwise and then you can just go round you can use a grass nozzle or you can use this one this is Wilton 18 which we used to pipe, to pipe the hedgehogs last week which somebody did a fantastic job and piped loads and loads of them but if you make cakes commercially and you're thinking about father's day treat boxes or something that you want to do then this is relatively quick once you've made all your golf balls and you've literally popped a little bit of paint over the top of them and piped your grass 
you can do these on mass very quickly and you can pre-paint them all you don't have to do them like i've just done them i was trying to do it so i didn't have to pick it up again you can always go back with grass then and just put a few extra bits in here and there just to make it look a little bit more realistic rather than being sort of all the same there you go how about that do you like that idea and that's what it looks like if i leave it on the side like that you'll be able to get a really good view of what that looks like so it's quite a sizable chocolate but again you can fill it you can have it solid you don't have to paint it white if you don't want to but clearly there's a sizable color change between the two if you don't paint it white um, if you try and do it with something else like gels or vodkas it's not going to stick it will look great but then you'll find that um, it will all come off so um, yeah that's what you need to worry about there so cocoa butter paint see it's now dry so if I touch it it's not going to come off which means that it's now fixed onto the chocolate so if you do this with dusting colour in say vodka or gin or something like that You'll paint it, it'll look great, but the minute you touch it, it's going to come off. So it's fixed and dried really quickly. Nice dark green cases. They look nice like that as well. Very simple, very effective. And again, you can do that on um, across quite a lot. Everybody likes this one, don't they? I don't blame them too. It's a nice little, nice little idea that. And then also the other week I showed you this kit. So this was the one called Garden Tools. And I made that yesterday because I thought I'm going to investigate this and see... Um, exactly what we get now I'm going to give you a couple of top tips here number one whatever you do when you get these out don't do that because I broke two immediately um, <laughs> you need to have it nice and close to the table and just kind of manipulate it so that they come out you could literally even put your hand underneath it because when chocolate goes into a mold and it dries it contracts if you've tempered it correctly which means that it's going to come away from the mold and drop so if you literally just tap it it should fall out but I tapped it like that and then a couple of these fell out on the other side and then I had a bit of a nightmare with it so I'm going to paint up a couple of these now because I'm actually going to paint the rest up and then use them on a live coming up um, either next week or the following week but they're a lovely set of garden tools we don't have absolutely loads of them but they're very very nice um, the everyone loves the moulds I'm so sorry everybody I know it can be expensive tuning into this channel don't tell anybody so there's a little saw and there's a little spade now I think these are they look like branch cutters or something. I think that's what they are. Um, there's the fork. Now that's the one I broke. And then this one, which is those are the hedge cutters. That's the branch cutters. That's right. I'll get this right now. I should know. I've been brought up in the countryside. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Which one am I missing? Oh, secretaires. Here we go. And the secretaires here. Now, last week we showed you the other mould, which was the other gardening theme mould. So this is the chocolate one. The other one, I'm just going to get them so you can have a look at the difference between the two, because there's quite a sizable difference. Um, so if you want to do cupcakes, I think these are going to be too big. So you may well prefer this mould here. So this was the gardening mould that Kelly had painted, there we go, a couple of weeks ago. So you can see on a cupcake how much bigger they are. They will fit, but if you want something a little bit more dainty, then there is the gardening silicon mould available. Kelly will put that link up. Done it, good girl. This is the plastic mould, which is different from this one. So this one's a little bit more expensive. I think this one's about £11, but you get, how many is that? £12 um the um silicon and 4.95 for the chocolate yeah so the plastic one is cheaper than the other one so if you don't want to spend loads of money then this is i tell you what the number of gardening cakes that i get asked to do is unbelievable so because uh, we're surrounded by gardens here i love a cheat i love to have things on cakes that look good and look good really quickly so i'm always up for this now the gardening mold this little chap here can you see kelly painted a little gnome is just lovely it's the most loveliest little mold ever and the dirt that we made on there was oreo which kelly literally sat here smashing up a bag of oreos to get the dirt color on the top there so for the cupcakes um this is the gardening mold also i'm going to do little plaques and things coming up with this as well so i'm going to give you lots of other options at another time so i keep thinking of always different things to do you see but i'm going to just talk you through now or show you how to paint some of this up so if you wanted to have a go at doing this it's not difficult it's the cocoa butter again i'm just going to move that over there hopefully there won't be a big crash because i need to get towards my colors so we can use um 
black until I get these out and then I've just buried them somewhere probably. Brown, so kind of like gardening type colours, although my secretaires are pink actually, I have to say. Woodland green. Woodland green. Red. She's off now. I've, I've lit the match, haven't I, Kenny? Well, I'm just saying, the, the ones that I use for me are like that. Yeah, let's get that one out as well. Let's see what we've got here. So we are going to do, oh, I've got out. No, oh, that's brown. Here we go. Let's start with the brown colour. And also as well, um, with the silver, what did we do there? Did we do... Um... You can either, I just paint, on the last lot, I just painted them grey. But you can put down grey and then put silver over the top. But the silver luster colours aren't very like... Well, we don't really like the silver. Vibrant that much. No, we're not a fan of the silver luster colours particularly. But honestly, you know, if you want these to be silver, we're going to have to kind of adapt a little bit with it. So let's give this a go and see how we get on. So this is paintbrush. I don't want that one. Let's get paintbrush too. I seem to be surrounded by stuff here. Let me just have a little move around. Let's move that knife out of the way so I don't end up hurting myself. There we go. Let's bring those in. Right. So we have got, where are we? Did I do a paintbrush too? No, not that one. What's that one? That's three. This one is one, that one is two, there we go. Right, so that's the one we want. So what we'll do is just dip that in there, give it a little twist. I'm going to bring the golf ball back on there so you can have a little look at that while I'm getting this ready. So for silver, what we've decided is that, actually I'll tell you what you could do Kelly, you could paint silver and then spray it with that finishing spray. That, that might work, let's try that. Okay. So we're going to clean this up so we don't have pink in there. Then we're going to make a grey colour. Now grey is a nice simple colour. It's white and black. Not too much black. More white than black for this because we don't want it to come out too dark. So we'll just mix those two up together like so. What have we got? Sometimes it's difficult to see until you start painting and then you realise it's too dark. Always paint over it. And then what we'll do is we'll paint the lower half of this first. Well, that's actually okay. That's quite a nice light grey colour. So it almost looks a little bit silvery like that. That looks okay. So if you're doing a cake for Father's Day, you could do all of this in advance. Get it all sorted so you don't have to worry about it. And then when it comes to it, you can literally just put them on. Or not even Father's Day. I mean, you know, so many people... You can customise them as well to make them, I guess, more feminine. Well, yeah, but you could also um, paint, them pink. paint them pink, yeah. Why not, if you want to do them pink? Say my secretaires are pink. I'm just going to paint down the side of this. I'm not actually going to paint in the middle, otherwise I won't be able to tell which bit is the fork there. So we'll paint it up to that point there. Now it's gone a bit dark there because I caught a little bit of black as I put that back in there. So we can just go back. You can pretend it's shading. Pretend it's some shading, you see, yeah. Mm. That's okay. I don't mind that. It dries very quickly and it's already... Actually, it's already near enough dry. Oh, the other one, the tall assortment. Um, you can pass me one of those moulds, Kelly, in a second. Oh, actually, no, it's down there. There's one we've got here that's called Tool Assortment, not Garden Tools, so for, like, carpentry and things. Now, that one completely sold out. We've got it all back in again now, but I don't think it's going to last very long, purely because, as I say, Father's Day is coming up. So go and look at... If you want Tool Assortment, which is not the same as Garden Tools, it tends to be for things like, sort of... Um, What's it got on it, Kelly? A uh, hammer a saw, and... a chisel. Uh... So that's for the DIYer, I suppose, rather than the gardener. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want that one, it's on the website now. But we did sell out because we took it off. Now it's back again. So Kelly's put the link up for you there. Um, if you make a mistake and you want to get rid of a colour, you can always use one of these, which is a scriber. And you can literally just scratch off your colour. And that gets rid of it. So if you're ever thinking, oh, no, I've got that in the wrong place, just scribe it out and that'd be fine. And then this is the bit where you can decide whether or not you want to make your your tool handles a different colour. What colour should we make the handle, Kelly? Have you got a... Red. Should we go red? Yeah. Or do you want to go... I want to go red rather than brown. And then what we'll do is we will attempt to turn this a bit more silver. We'll put some finishing glittery spray on it. Do you have glittery? 
handles, do you think? Yeah. Let's give it a go and see what I don't it does. Have glittery handle. No, glittery fork, I meant, you know, that bit. Okay, so we'll put some red in here as well. So all of these colours are in the beginner's kit, apart from royal gold, which um, we have on its own, but I think it's also part of a set of three. Um, there's royal gold, mystical gold, mystical silver, mystical silver and what's the other one? Yeah, mystical gold. Mystical, there's four in a set on that one, I think. Yeah, and rose gold. Rose, it? no, rose gold's in the pink set. Mystical royal silver. Royal gold. Mystical gold. Gold rush. Gold rush. Gold rush. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to use red so let's grab some red so this is a luster color so don't forget this sits slightly differently we may well need to do do it twice but you could actually even customize it you could just put like a red stripe around that bit there because that's actually marked up and then a brown handle what about that Kelly yeah I mean brown handle is not very interesting all right well we'll go full red then just... now I've got a little hole there where I've um the chocolate's not gone completely into the mould, so that's my fault. So all I'm going to do is just dab the chocolate in there. Cocoa butter. Cocoa butter and paint, rather. There you go. So you get your design hat on here with this. So I'm going to paint it as close as I can. Am I still on camera? Just about. Let me move up a little bit so you can see. So we'll take that round there. So I'm going to do a gardening cake. Um, in the next couple of weeks either on here or on sugar and crumbs I haven't decided yet um, probably sugar and crumbs and I'm going to use all of this to put my gardening cake together and just show you how quick and easy it is so we're going to have a nice little set of tools and we'll put some flowers and you know we don't want to get too stressed about doing cakes we want it to be nice and easy there we go it's coming on nicely more paint what brush did I pick up two probably could have done it with brush three a bit quicker brushes the bigger the higher the number the bigger the brush so I'm a personal user of only zero I don't use anything else <laughs> Kelly likes the zero brush you do don't you even if it's on like large mats I use zero. you still prefer the zero brush mm -hmm. I don't know why because it's small and I paint regularly with small paint brushes yeah I think that's what it is isn't it okay so there we go so something along that lines and again you can go back to um, personalization so you can always put a name or something on there or there you go let that dry now I'm able to hold this at the bottom because this bit's now dry there you go that's fun isn't it let me lift that up so you can have a little actually I'll put it on my hand quickly so you can see that bit better like that so it's a really nice little garden tool very very quickly that I've not had to stress too much about doing. I've literally just painted that little bit there. And then that's when you can start turning towards this and you can do it, well, we'll customise this and we'll make this the same as this so that everything looks like it kind of belongs to a set. So you can do like little red handles on here, silver on here. So very straightforward, but so that when you look at them um, all together, they look like they belong so all sorts of different things you can do you might decide you want to go blue or whatever it is or lots of different colors but there's lots of options on there now in terms of making this more silver let's just give this a go a second I'm just going to move these out of the way what we could try is we will turn that around and we will put this piece of kitchen roll over the top like so and then we have this product here called finishing sparkle which is this one here, which we talked about earlier. And then I'm going to just literally, oh, this bit, this is good. Okay, so if you want to make your garden, uh, garden implement, there we go. How about that? That's proper sparkle. And I'm holding it with the kitchen roll now because it's some chocolate. I don't want to melt it, but there you go. Look, that's proper sparkly. So that looks now like a nice silver trowel rather than having um, it just a, like a matte grey colour. So you can do the matte grey if you want to, but if you want it to be a little bit more silvery, then use something like the finishing sparkle, which just goes straight over the top of it like so. Have you seen that, Kelly? Look. That looks right, isn't it? Oh yeah, I can see it really well on camera. You can see it on camera really well. Well, that's yeah. good. So yeah, there you go. So if you want to do silver, finishing sparkle on top of your colour, and then you can put that on there. 
Right, now let's move that there. So if I wanted to do a matching one, but this one here, if I wanted to do this one, I would paint all of this silver. In fact, I'll do that now so that oh, you've got a good idea because I don't want you to end up with something you don't quite know what to do with it because that's annoying more than anything else. So we'll grab this one, we'll get a little bit of silver again. So don't forget we'll do it with grey. And then we will look at the blade at the bottom here. So that's the bit we need to paint silver. Like that. Push it right into the chocolate. I suspect that bit there is also probably metal. So we'll take that up there as well. And it's probably just that handle bit there that's red. So we're going to take that over there, I'm guessing. I should know, I've seen my dad do this enough times. So we'll go that way. Okay. Like so. And then again, you can just turn this round. That, can you see the difference between these two? Now that one's got all the sparkle on it and that one hasn't. It's actually quite a big difference. I think I probably need to add a tiny bit more black in there as well, just to make it a little bit darker grey. You can always adjust these grey colours as well. So if you wanted the saw to be a little bit darker, you could always add a bit more. I think I'm running out of paint actually. It's gone a bit translucent. There we go, that's better. So yeah, just have a look at your colours. If it gets a bit translucent, add in more dust. It just means you've got too much cocoa butter in there. That's better. I was thinking it's gone the other way then. And we'll put that along there, like so. Paint that round. So this mould is the garden tool mould. Don't get it confused with tool assortment. Tool assortment is the carpentry set. So that's for the DIY. -er. Can the gardening mould, I guess they mean the plastic one, can it be used with sugar paste? Yes, or modelling paste. Please don't use it with sugar paste. Use it with Saraceno, which we sell, which is a modelling chop, uh, modelling paste. I had some somewhere, there it is. Um, yeah, so here we go. I will explain all that in a minute. But this is what you need to use if you're using any of this in one of the moulds, because if you use sugar paste, it will get stuck. And then when it gets stuck and you try and get it out, it will all break and, and it will go misshapen. It's modelling paste that you need to use. So what you do is you basically um, knead it. It's hard to start with, so you'll need to put it in the microwave to warm it up. Then you'll knead it, pop it into the mould and then leave it to set. But make sure there's some icing sugar in there so it doesn't get stuck. And then you can um, turn it upside down and bang it down like that and it should come out. But do a couple of trials before you sort of set the whole lot. The Saraceno sets very quickly, actually. So you'll only need to wait sort of half an hour or so and then it'll all be set. So um, you can certainly give that a try. But Saraceno is the paste you want. We do it singularly and we do it in a pack of two. Um, and that's what you need to be using, 100%. Don't do it with sugar paste. Okay, right, then we'll just paint that handle red. So that just kind of goes with this one. Like so. There we go. And it looks like he's been to the garden centre and bought a whole set then, isn't it, Kay? Mm. So again, this is something you can do in advance and get it all ready. There we go, like that. And then if you wanted to do the glittery bit, I'm going to move that one out of the way for this one. You could just pop for some kitchen roll strategically. It's like airbrushing all over again. Pop some there like that, take hold of this, pop that over there Ooh, and then just and then what it's doing it's sticking to the cocoa butter you see so there you go and then you've got a nice sparkly saw in the process as well. Let me turn that over because that's probably not helping matters actually because it's probably too silver, there you go that's better, there you go. All right, so you can see then you've got some nice 
bright silver um, tools without actually trying to um, paint it silver itself. So you're just painting a matte grey colour and then using finishing sparkle just to get the nice silver colour over the top. And then I'm just going to work my way through painting these over the next few days. Um, some of it will be live and then I'll put them all together on a cake next week or the week after and then you'll be able to see a nice little sort of gardening themed type cake going on. But there is a difference between these and these. So just take note on that. You'll see the massive side size difference between the two of these, as you can see, huge. These are all chocolate these are made out of modelling paste but again Kelly's painted these with her beloved zero zero nozzle or zero no zero brush that she loves so that's something there that you can do so that's nice and easy then right okay we've got a couple more things to show you um that Kelly's painted and then I think we're near enough there so we have got also that Kelly painted a few weeks ago this lovely makeup mold I'm just going to take this off so you can see it now this is an FPC makeup mold that Kelly painted like that with using claret wine black which gold was that royal gold and then cream yeah so this is a nice selection of makeup that Kelly put together here now after we did that we then went ahead and put it on some cupcakes which I have got so I'm going to show you now she did it on um, she then went on and painted it in a different color so I want to show you how they look on cupcakes because otherwise it can be a little bit unusual if you can't see things um, done how they look size wise because sometimes on television it's so difficult to see what it looks like so this is what they look like um on cupcakes so this is the same kit the same makeup kit but kelly's painted them with grape violet mixed with petal blue no no grape violet and dusky pink grape violet and dusky pink bless your pardon and if i hold it up close there you can see she's painted some little details on there as well so these she's put onto cupcakes they're the same thing and you can see we've gone ahead with the um edible sparkle that's had to that's had to come out again the finishing sparkle and these little butterflies here these are our wafer paper butterflies which we're mega keen on I, they were on everything at one point they're a bit like the silver balls um which we sell on sheets um they are either on sugar paste or they're on wafer for paper the wafer paper one's a little bit more pastel color whereas the ones on sugar paste even though they're the same print they do come out a little bit darker um, the wafer paper ones they tend to stand up right really nicely the way the sugar paste ones um, they need a little bit more encouragement um, but these are the ones for that particular kit so I wanted to just show you that this fits onto this because otherwise it doesn't make any sense when you see it like that so we've got kind of a what were you describing it the other day Kelly like an Yves Saint Laurent type claret wine selection luxury bougie. <laughs> bougie luxury bougie luxury apparently and that's the this one the claret wine one yeah and what do we describe one this like one cute I think we called it maybe do we call like it cute tea. something like that what we've done you can get the makeup mold on its own We've also put together a selection of colours. So if you want to paint this selection, we've put a little group of dusts together with some various bits and pieces. Kelly will put those link up. And then if you wanted to do it this way, again, we've also put a little selection up, which includes the mould. So if you want the mould on its own, that's available. If you want it with the colours, that's also available. So there's two different ones there as well. So let me hold those up so you can have a look at it. So um, they're very pretty. And obviously then you put your finishing sparkle on if you want to, to do something along those lines right I need to get my list out here because I'm now looking around and thinking have I missed anything let me have a look um, we've done the oh yes and also don't forget with the molds as well we talked about this the other week there is um, one called sports balls as well now that one consisted of um, they call it baseball but I'm telling you now it's more basket well they call it baseball I think it's more tennis ball and I think or it could be rounders ball rounders balls cricket ball cricket ball I think it's a universal ball but they call it baseball which is I don't think we can I think we can get away with using it as a tennis ball but there was a football rugby ball basketball that one was okay and baseball so there's four balls in the same kit now they're bigger than the golf ones they're probably going to be tiny maybe or they'd certainly fill a cupcake anyway but that one is also available we've got kind of lots of um, men and women type sports things in at the moment try and give you a little bit of um, difference there look if I hold that golf one up there like that oh that's cool doesn't it as you can see it now a bit more 3d so bit sometimes when my camera's over the top of it it's difficult to actually kind of see but there you go I hold that up they would look nice on mass and if you ever think about 
about doing anything like this you can always put like little flags in there with wafer paper and write 18th or 19th hole something like that or oh, hole in one or anything like that um that would look really home nice run. home home run that's what doing basically. yeah that's a golf ball Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the sports bolt one. My Facebook like glitch and it's like we're having trouble playing. Right, three more moulds and then I think we're finished today. I think that will be it. So let me show you these um, three new moulds that have come in. Right, okay. So this one here is FPC and it is a multi-gem mould. So this one is for making up lots of glamorous necklaces and bits and pieces and then painting them with the luster colours. And again, I'm going to start investigating this one um, when we go down. We've got two themes coming up. As I said, we've got sparkly, uh, princessy type theme and we've got uh, gardening coming up. So between those two, that's what's going to be um, we're going to be investigating. So this one is now available um, on the let's shop cake live we've also got this which is absolutely fantastic i love it i've used it a hundred times myself and what i like to show you on here are products that i use as a cake decorator so i make cakes for people every week on order as well as doing all these demonstrations and all the shopping channel and everything else i'm fully in cake so baby shower this is absolutely my favorite mold like you wouldn't believe it has got a little um glove a little booty abc a dummy a rattle a bottle and a little baby a little teddy on there and a duck just for kelly because that's mm -hmm. the only word she could ever say when she was little was duck um it is absolutely lovely for cupcakes i am going to demonstrate it over the next couple of weeks but i just want to let you know that it's now arrived also along with baby shoes as well so if you've got any kind of baby type things coming up there are two molds available this one and baby shoes as well so they just come in um, and then you can have a look there and then finally perfume bottles so this one we've had, it's on its own, or you can buy it with the makeup mould, wherever I've just put that, together just to save yourself a, a little bit of money. Those two are together, or you can have the perfume bottle on its own. And again, you can write all sorts of different fragrances and things on there if you want to. Um, lovely, lovely shapes, this one. And again, you can customise them, and we will be doing more on this in the next few weeks. What I like to do is show you what we've got coming in, and then we like to do something with it over the next couple of weeks in terms of let shop, because we can't fit it all in in um, we've got more products coming in left right and center every time there's another delivery kelly goes what now um, <laughs> what now where are we gonna put it so yeah lots and lots of new products coming up all the time because i can't help myself let me see you all think you're then going to go off and, and spend money and all this pieces. I've already got there. <laughs> it's so terrible. Um, it's just so nice, all of this stuff, isn't it? I do, it's like a little treasure trove, isn't it? So there we go. So um, we have done lots this morning. So let me just quickly recap. Um, if you want to buy any classes, you need to change website. You need to go to tracymancakeschool.co.uk. So if you're interested in any painting classes or royal icing, then you need to go to that website there. So don't forget, we've got classes that start for as low as five pounds we've got kelly's color theory class coming up which is 750 on monday the 10th of may at half past six so that's a facebook live class and that's for you to get involved with and to ask kelly lots of questions about color and she's going to explain all the color wheel there's going to be handouts there's going to be all sorts of things that you will be able to um, download from that point of view um, we then went on to um, obviously the beginners flower course is running as well at the moment I did show you these glorious things that they've started to paint there we go up there so if you want to have a go with beginners floral that's now also fully available so you can go in there and um, get that and it's on offer and if you want to pay by installments i have no problem with that at all in fact the majority of the people on these larger courses are on installments i don't charge any interest um, you can do it over two or three months so it's either 49 and 50 over two months or three lots of 33 you just need to drop me an email and i'm more than happy to help you if you want to have a go at beginners um, um, floral painting then you can do that um, then we went on to the lovely um, cupcakes and cookies so we went on to these next didn't we and the lovely cookie kits which I'm going to take photos of and I'll put them up so you can see them and the brand new uh, funny food kit what do I call it fun food or funny food or something like that anyway something along those lines um, <laughs> If you place, uh, then we did that, then we moved on to um, the gardening and the golf ball and all the other bits and pieces there. So I'm starting to now show you some of the other bits and pieces. Oh, and the patchwork cutters as well. Um, don't forget those for anyone who wants to just have a go but doesn't want to get too involved.
involved in any courses we've got the cutters get your cutters go to youtube subscribe to youtube my youtube channel look at what i've done with them and copy it and then you'll suddenly get these amazing results and think actually i can do more than i think i can do and before you know it you put your paintbrush in your hand and everything else underway and you're doing a really good job so that's um, something else that you can look at as well so <laughs> Thank you very much. We will be back next Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning, um, hopefully with a lot more edible printing. As I say, it's been a very stressful week. Um, have a lovely bank holiday, everybody. Um, looking out the window when I arrived, it was sunny. There's a few black clouds in the sky now, so maybe it's going to change. We'll have a look at it in a minute and see where it's going on. Let's Shop Cake Live is now open, so you'll be able to go to the website. It will be open all weekend, so you can nip over there and have a little look. Don't forget, if you buy more than one thing and you then go go back and buy something else when we come to dispatch it we will put the postage together um, so that you're only paying one lot of postage so we will refund it but we only do it as we dispatch it otherwise the system just wipes it off and then we've lost track of it completely um, if anybody's waiting for any patchwork cutters magnolia and rose has arrived in fact it arrived live this morning <laughs> from the postman so if anybody is waiting for those we now have all patchwork cutters are now back in stock thank goodness for that so they will all be going out um, on tuesday and that's as well don't forget it's a bank holiday weekend so all the postage will be delayed so we won't be dispatching anything before tuesday so just don't forget that as well have i forgotten anything I so. no i've done a good job haven't i kelly um thank you very much for all your comments thank you very much for tuning in it's lovely to see all of you every morning on saturday so we're very grateful for you tuning in and for shopping with us as well um we're very um, pleased that the shopping channel is being very well received and we keep coming back every Saturday morning with lots of new ideas for you so with my little sidekick Kelly over there <laughs> so take care have a lovely weekend and if you've missed out and only just joined in you can watch it on catch up because the minute I finish this it will go onto the channel and you will be able to watch it so have a lovely day and we'll see you all soon bye for now bye